What's up guys? Today we'll be checking out Spider-Man No Way Home on 4K Blu-ray. Now this isn't a review on how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on the audio and the video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 4.5K, it's got a 2K DI, it's rated PG-13, runtime is 148 minutes, and the aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So there are black letterbox bars with no IMAX shots, and the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Hopping into the Atmos viewer, we can see that this is, for the most part, a dynamically mixed soundtrack. So there are objects that can move throughout the various channels, rather than being static like most other Marvel-made movies. During the quieter parts, there's usually some kind of ambiance that's present in all the channels that gives the scene an expanded presence. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. In Chapter 6, you can hear Spider-Man swing from the height channels and land in the lower speakers. Chapter 7 has Goblin's voice filling the overheads to make it seem like Norman's got an inner voice. <laughs> Doc Ock's attack in Chapter 5 has a ton of effects like cars and debris panning through the different speakers with choppers flying overhead. You'll even hear his arms move throughout your room. And speaking of Doc Ock's arms, they've got some impressive low-end response when they're crashing into something. Explosions hit extremely hard, and when Peter feels his Peter tingle, it'll give your subs a hefty room-shaking workout. Peter? Soundstage is big and expansive, which gives the movie that big action movie feel, and the dialogue is always easy to hear. If you're new to the channel and you're into new movies and audio and video gear, and want to see more content like this, be sure to tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. For video quality, this looks the same as the previous two Spideys. It's a digitally shot movie, so it's got an extremely clean digital picture. The detail can look exceptional at times, but I do think it falls a little short of having that ultra-fine detail that I saw on The Matrix Resurrections. You'll see the textures in Spidey suit, strands of hair, wrinkles, etc., so it can definitely be crispy. But there are some shots that have a touch of soft smoothness to the image, so it isn't as refined as the best out there. With 4K's high resolution, you'll sometimes notice that the CG can look digitally fake. And then there's the digitally de-aged Doc Ock and Norman. If you didn't know the original Spider-Man movies came out decades ago, you might think No Way Home came out right after 2002 Spider-Man, because those guys looked flawlessly young. Remarkable. The HDR I felt was the highlight here. It can be a somewhat dim transfer at times, and other times be one of the brightest I've seen, with the outdoor sunrise in Chapter 14 being quite the sunglass grabber. The skyline has this bright white purplish orangey yellowy hue to it that just pops and really grabs your attention. Either that or this new projector is blowing my mind. Electro's electricity in chapter 6 is another HDR standout which jumps off the screen against the black background. It's super bright, white, yellow, and just really pops. The movie's color palette is very natural with clean saturated colors, and aside from the popping specular highlights, the colors aren't jumping off the screen the same way it does on movies like Aquaman. The black levels were great with shadow details being present and all the dark shots without any crushing of detail. So for video quality, I'm gonna go with a 9. It's at times got a bit of softness to it and other times it's 4K crispy, but it does fall short out of the best out there. The HDR can be an eye-popping experience with some truly standout moments, and overall, it's a great transfer that matches the visuals of the previous two movies. Audio quality was great with very active overhead activity. Now, although it's a dynamically mixed soundtrack, it does remain static for most of the runtime. There's some nice placement of sound effects, but I would have liked more distinct movement when the effects are moving around. Bass was killer during the action scenes, and ranks near the top for a Marvel movie. So, I'm gonna give it a 9 for audio as well. So what are your thoughts on Spider-Man No Way Home on 4K Blu-ray? Have you seen it and how do you think it stacks up to the other movies? Leave a comment down below and let us know. Now if you want to grab this disc, I'll leave a link for it down below in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next video.